on our buddy Andrew's boat, on the John boat, the War Eagle. And um, you guys, today it is 70 degrees today. Oh yeah, it is beautiful. Tomorrow's gonna be back down to like 40s and rainy, but today we got a great day to get out on the water. One of our very favorite spots in our region here. And uh, hopefully we're gonna get on some big old redfish, some trout, see what is biting out there. That's right, y'all. Today, we're going to be going after the big old wintertime speckled trout. These are the days where it's, we try and go for more quality over quantity. I mean, we try to do that every day, but in the wintertime, something about it. It's like these trout that hold over in our fishery throughout the winter. We tend to get uh, better quality and less of the dinks. So hopefully that's what we're, you know, kind of going for today is we do not want the dink fest and hopefully that's not going to be happening because again you guys these warmer days like this uh, sometimes these fish are going to push up shallow um, and in, in this area where we're fishing this fishery it holds more depth here but these fish what they'll do on these warmer days like this 70 degrees in february so these fish are going to pull up shallow and hopefully that's what we'll be doing is targeting that big old speckled trout oh yeah so let's get it babe. oh sorry Ow. <laughs> is it a 10 pound <laughs> And today's gonna be a great day, you guys. We got the War Eagle, the Johnson fired up. Right, dude. Old two stroke. <laughs> Old two stroke. <laughs> Good solid by Pelicans. You ready to catch some fish? Find the birds, find the bait, find the fish. 12 feet, 46. First bait fish. What is it? 46 degrees. Sweet. That's. What did, uh. Oh, wow. Dang, he's nice. Very nice. That's the wintertime trout. Woo All right, y'all. Getting after these beautiful speckled trout right out here. And they're kind of going up nice and shallow. They're sunning and they are feeding up on these heavy deans. Yeah, quality trout. Very nice. Sweet. So it's all about dead of wintertime fishing. Oh, yeah. Beautiful day out today, though. <laughs> all right, y'all. Jeff and I were just doubled up. Jeff forgot my chesty today. I brought my GoPro, but I didn't have the chesty to stick it in. So, y'all haven't been seeing any of my catches, but it's all good. Very nice. Nice, babe. That's a good, good looking speckled trout if I ever saw one. That is. <clears throat> whoa, buddy. A little wily. He is. Look at that mouth. But yeah, you guys. Whoa, he's got the only the one thing going on. <laughs> um. But yeah, you guys. In the winter time, it's just more quality and uh not as much of the dinks dang i kind of feel like we should take this guy home he's already nice and cold <laughs> all right guys second speckled trout into the boat this guy is thumping drumming away man they are very cold what is the water temp 40 46 degrees y'all and the sun is out these guys are sunning right up there kind of in like the muddy water fishing like how deep is it six feet that. pulling these guys out dead sticking it the slower you go the more you catch that's that's my motto anything up there babe nope i just gotta catch one okay teach me all secrets teach you my ways oh no, oh, no. all right buddy y'all you want to make sure you revive always revive your fish but especially in the winter Make sure he swims off because it's cold and you don't want him to die if you're not going to keep him. <laughs> Andrew, what's going on up there? Not enough. Not right now. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we're going to take this one home. We're going to make some fish tacos. This is like perfect size for eating, like 19 inches. Having a productive day out on the War Eagle, out on the John Boat, getting outfished by Christy. Per usual. Exactly. <laughs> per usual. <laughs> Whew. All right, y'all. Check out Jeff's catch right now. This is a beautiful Sego trout. Biggest one of the year so far. Yeah, this is a Solid trophy. 24. 25. Little citation. Not little. That. Solid citation. Here we go. All right, y'all. That is a trophy trout. That's that winter time. Speckled trout fishing. Yeah, y'all are missing out for those of you who are sitting on the couch at home. You see for Here you go. Sick. Sweet. All right, we're gonna let this one go. Woo, 
All right, oh, solid is. fish right here, you guys. This is what it's all about in the winter time. Might not get those numbers, but you're definitely gonna be catching quality fish. And started out with a little Berkeley gulp on a quarter ounce, which was getting it done. Um, then we switched over to the Heavy Dean. Ready? All right, guys, Jeff and I doubled up. Big old. His is a little bit bigger than mine, but still solids. We're gonna release these guys. Definitely. Definitely gotta release the whale. Yep. There we go. That was a solid day out on the water catching us some speckled trout. And we were out here just a couple hours casting out the bank and pulling some really nice fish out of the water. So we're about to, got a couple fish um, on the stringer, about to head back to our kitchen. And y'all, we just Cook got some up. brand new Bubba Blade knives that we cannot wait to use up. Um, they're oh, super God. awesome. And uh, yeah, about to fillet up these bad boys in the kitchen. I don't know. How do you want to? How are we gonna cook them up, babe? Grill? Fish tacos. Ooh. Super Bowl fish tacos. Super Bowl fish tacos. Nothing better than fresh meat on a Sunday. Some fresh fish. So, all right, y'all. That wraps it up for a little water sesh. See you guys back in the kitchen in a few. Today we're gonna do something a little different because we do a ton of catch and cooks, and I'm gonna while I'm filleting these fish talk to y'all about how we caught these fish and I'm just gonna be doing a basic kind of like fish tacos tonight so I don't want to bore y'all too much with a recipe that we've done a few times but this right here this is the lure okay, let me get, let me get a good zoom. this is the lure that was there getting it done so this Christy was using this one smaller profile the heavy Dean uh, mirror lure is the 808 color I believe was the smaller profile, uh, I do like the MR18s, the Heavy Dean, smaller profile, faster sink rate, and like it's a little bit more versatile because it can get down to depth. So a lot of these speckled trout, they're gonna be holding on some of the drop-offs, uh, especially in the winter time, and getting into the early spring. So on those warmer days like, like we had, the trout were actually like up shallow, and we were seeing some of them like blowing up, but um, that's why I like this. But that's why I like this mirror lure right here or a 1 8 ounce jig head that we were using with Berkeley Gulp. Uh, we caught a few of them on that. But this right here, this is what we were using. Pen Conflict uh, 2000 series, uh, 10 pound braid, longer cast, and 10 pound fluorocarbon leader. So pretty simple, little Fenwick HMG inshore. This thing right here is a inshore samurai sword. As we are about to cook up these bad boys. We just stuck these in the fridge for a few minutes because we didn't have ice and we want to keep them as fresh as possible. So Jeff is actually about to fillet these up and I am going to be breaking out our brand new... All right, don't mind me. I stuck it in the bottom of the I'm going to be breaking out our brand new Bubba knives right here. You guys, super excited to partner with Bubba. And first of all, super cool case. Second of all, I need a third hand so I can open this. So here's the lineup. Jeff, are you stoked to try out these new Bubba knives? Yeah. All right, slightly intimidating, guys. Luckily, they came with little like knife protectors. We're gonna remove those. I'm gonna let Jeff do that. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So y'all, it comes with one red handle and it's interchangeable so literally all you have to do is push these in and then the knife itself will pop out really yeah i can't do it with one hand there we go see how easy that was and then it clicks it like locks into place so it's a safety feature it's not going to like pop out on you but yeah you literally just squeeze in the white and then it slides out and that is what it looks like. It's pretty cool. It tells you tapered flex. So that's what nice that this is. And then say you want to like switch it out. Make sure you guys grab it by this side and then it literally will slide right into there. So it's pretty cool how they created this. That way you guys can literally take the knife all the way out, clean it. And then again, it locks into place. So this set actually, it's pretty cool. It came with 
Um, four different knives, and then the one knife holder. Yeah, here, put your fancy, not, put your fancy gloves on. Pretty ball in. Yeah, because my hands get all slimy on them speckled trout. All right, let's fly this fish. But yeah, so you guys, these fish right now, in their winter time pattern, up here in our fishery, uh, the mid-Atlantic, like Virginia, North Carolina, and even into like the Southeast region, it's typically, uh, well, okay, so speaking of, about my region in Virginia, gosh, this thing cuts just like, it's cutting butter. Um, these fish typically in the winter time, they're gonna be more schooled up um, and it's gonna be what we have typically observed is quality. Um, because a lot of the fish that make it through the winter are these, oh. are these larger fish. My parents are here. <laughs> Woo! My parents just got here, y'all, for the Super Bowl party. <laughs> Mom's here, Dad's here. Now the party's began. Mom brought the cocktail sauce. <laughs> Mom hasn't been on the channel yet. Do we need to get her out fishing? <laughs> I think so. Very nice. First nice fillet. What do you think? That's you like a fan butter. of the bubba? Yeah. The bubba is very nice. Gloves helped a lot. All right, y'all. So this right here, this was the smallest trout that we caught all day. So in the wintertime, these speckled trout in our fishery are typically going to be, it's typically, like I said, it's like quality over quantity. Um, and Christy, she caught the most fish. Um, it's, again, it's just slow and low. Um, so just that's really the name of the game. That's why the mirror lures and actually using one eighth and even some some people use one sixteenth ounce jig heads just really uh, like finesse style fishing Got to be patient, uh, but you also have to be patient to like locate the fish Because um, again in the winter time, there's not gonna be it's not gonna be as like plentiful as it will be in like the fall spring and even in the summer numbers wise, but when you get them, uh, you'll typically find some really quality fish. Because again, these fish, to make it through the winter time, um, the more that a speckled trout grows, the more it actually kind of adapts to surviving. Whoa, totally messing this fly up. So the more that a speckled trout grows, the more that it adapts to surviving in the cooler months. So uh, you can't really see it as much anymore because this fish has been sitting like on ice. So you can't really see as much anymore because this fish has been sitting on ice, but typically you'll see like a darker back with the bigger speckled trout. So that's, they've adapted to kind of soak in more heat and also they just have more uh, like body fat and everything to get through the winter time. So that's just kind of some science about the speckled trout and the bigger ones that typically make it through the winter. But in our fishery here, we did have a slight fish kill. And so that's why we were really careful when we were, when we were releasing these fish um, to make sure that we were giving them enough time that we weren't just like throwing them back into the water for the ones that we did release. Um, but we did have a slight fish kill up here. We get a fish kill, uh, like a slight one every winter um, up here in our fishery. It's just kind of like how bad does it get? We had that really bad one. I think it was in like 2018 but this winter wasn't terrible. So um, again, really that water temperature is paramount. Um, the bite really didn't start turning on till the sun got you know, up and the, uh, so the water temperature, it actually got close to like 50 degrees throughout the day. Um, the other thing that these trout are gonna be doing, they're just trying to find that warmest water possible. So on, these warmer sunny days, they're gonna actually pull up really, really shallow and they're gonna be coming from areas where that water is a little bit more. <laughs> like trying to get you and I can't. So these fish are gonna be pulling up into like shallow areas. Um, gosh, that filet looks really good. So these fish are gonna be pulling up into these like shallow areas from more of the like kind of deeper four to six, 10, sometimes even 15 to 20 feet deep in our fishery because when that water gets really cold, we actually had some days where it was like frozen across the water, then these speckled trout are gonna be moving deeper to get to that warmer water. But you guys, wintertime fishing, that's all I can say is, if you can try and target 
um, you know, the sunnier, warmer days. If you can't, try and find the warmest water possible and just fish it really slow. So it's just like a slow retrieve. That's actually what we were doing. They didn't really want as much jigging. It was just like a slow, steady retrieve and a few little twitches every now and then. It's definitely not like we're fishing in the fall and these fish were into like chasing things too, too much. They did want that steady retrieve. They didn't want it jigging. And that was sort of our perspective there. And that's a little bit of kind of how to uh, in the winter time catching these speckled trout. So that's all we got for today, you guys. And thanks for Bubba for sending us these, uh, these new knives and these gloves because that made things way easier. And that's all I got for today, y'all. Peace out. Peace out, y'all.